Hi, I'm Will Townsend, and I'm traveling again this week. I'm in beautiful Bray, Ireland, and I'm spending time with Druid and Napatek at Druid's Demo Day. And you do these every month, right, Ty? So That's right, Will. Yeah. What, what's, what's the focus for the Demo Day events? So we do them every quarter. Uh, every month would be a lot. Okay, all right. I was <laughs> so mistaken there. Four, four, four times a year. No, no, no problem, no problem. So absolutely, they're, they're a huge focus for us because they really get our team to, to show the capability, to demonstrate the capability uh, up to now, mainly internally. You know, show us what you're working on, how well it's working, how important it is, why is it important to customers. Uh, at this particular demo day, we have even more ecosystem partners who we've started to invite than ever before. And it's great to have you guys here as well and, and sure. MicroAmp here with us. Um, so lots of RAN vendors, lots of application partners. We're the core uh, which is very important. But what we're going to be showing today, I think in particular, is how easy it is to scale. So once you have one single network, how do you deploy others very easily, either on bare metal or uh, you know, in the cloud, on hyperscalers, etc. Sure. And our distributed network manager product really does that easily from a single pane of glass. And we're able to deploy networks anywhere in the world from that central control in the cloud, but still you know, deploying very, very efficiently at the edge with low latency, high security, you yeah. know, all of that. So we've got some great partners here showing push to talk applications, the, the smart NIC card for acceleration. We'll get into that shortly. Yeah, and yeah. microamp are delivering millimeter wave. Um, and we've got some great customers coming along here today as well to see what we can do. Fantastic. I'm so looking forward to, to it. Yeah, yeah, it should be here. fun. Hey, Charlie, let's talk about NAPATEC and like, you know, you do UPF offload, mm -hmm. obviously. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the nature of infrastructure is becoming highly disaggregated. So I, I love the partnership that you have with Druid. Um, speak a little bit about that, the history of that and, and the value that you're bringing. Yeah, we're, so we're thrilled to be here at the, at the demo day today. Um, we've been working with Druid for just about a year now. Mm -hmm. We actually started our collaboration in January of, of, of this year. And so just for some background, so Napatek is the, the number one supplier of programmable smart network interface cards, right, or smart mix. Things like this. You brought your your show and tell. I always great. travel with my show and tell, you know, and, and uh, I'm getting really tired of explaining it to security <laughs> officials in various airports it looks around ominous the world. For sure. Yeah, but that's a, that's a whole another story. And so, um, a, a smart network interface card is different from a standard quote foundational NIC that you would typically find in in a server. A typical NIC, all it does is it brings the traffic in off the network and it sends all of that traffic up to the server CPU, and the server CPU has to do all of the associated packet processing and security protocols and, and whatever. That's fine if it's a low bandwidth application, but as you start to get to high bandwidth applications, you very quickly swamp the capabilities of a general purpose CPU. Yeah. So a smart NIC has the capability of running the complete data plane for whatever the, the application is, the complete data plane on the smart NIC itself, mm -hmm. which allows you to, to have a much smaller capacity CPU, or alternatively to, to free up that CPU for running out other applications and services. Mm -hmm. And so as you mentioned, one of the offload solutions that we have is for this thing called a user plane function, yeah. which is the, actually the most compute intensive subsystem within a 5G private network packet core. Mm -hmm. So we partnered with Druid at the start of this year. Um, they took our smart NIC and our software stack running on a server from Contron, integrated that, and we, we were able to feature it together at Mobile World Congress. So we're just super happy. That was sort of our initial technology proof point. Sure. And now, you know, here at the demo day, we're able to talk about a real end customer with MicroAmp right. is actually taking advantage of Druid software accelerated by our offload solution. Yeah, you know, I was really impressed when, when the three of us spoke, and I ended up reading the Forbes article about that. But, you know, proof comes in the deployment and the adoption, and MicroAmp um, is a fantastic use case leveraging computer vision, right? to do a lot of interesting things. So let's spend a little bit of time uh, on MicroAmp and what you're hoping to solve for, for enterprises. Yeah, so MicroAmp provides customer 5G millimeter wave connectivity and we are solving the problems and the challenges related to millimeter wave uh, connectivity and also answering the needs that comes from not only the mobile network operators but mostly from the enterprises. Mm -hmm. So at the moment enterprises want to have simple system, easy to deploy, easy to manage, that allows them to focus on the real applications on the use cases. And this is when we come with millimeter waves with extremely high throughput, high data rate, and the system we are building, uh, we want to build them simple. Mm -hmm 
cost effective both in terms of capex and opex and based on druid core we created like the perfect solutions that mm -hmm. customers can go to our website order the starter kit mm -hmm. and they can start dealing with millimeter wave systems yeah. and what we are building now and we are building millimeter wave in a box it is the really really exciting things because this portable solutions you can deploy in many verticals uh, sometimes in an ad hoc fashion mm -hmm. that you do not need to deploy a lot of servers rack servers but in a box you deploy it you launch it and you have connectivity mm -hmm. and for this like the napa the cards came and plays the good role here because mm -hmm. in terms of the optimizations both capex and opex because using this you can not only decrease the costs right. because you need less servers yeah. So if you de you decrease the size of the solutions, you can make it and portable. The power and the power footprint. The power well. is yeah. is the third thing, yes, but you can make it portable. Sure. And this is really what customers like because right. industrial plants power one thing for enterprises, mm. but the size yeah. that you can make it portable. Yes. And even five years ago. If I tell you, if I told you that we can build the millimeter wave systems that can be deployed in hours yes. or less than hours, no one would believe in this. Right. Yes. Yeah. yes. But now we can really do this, and we can really we are able to deploy it to yeah. the market with the high performance systems right. that someone can have two gigabits uh, per second per, sure. per per one device. So yeah. this is cool. It's really cool, and I think for industrial applications to sort of automate um, processes, mm -hmm. that is huge. That's going to improve yield. There's in the U.S. There's a lot of reshoring and manufacturing that's going on. There's a lot of investment in semiconductor production mm -hmm. because we've relied on places like Taiwan and other parts of the world for that. Mm -hmm. And so that I think is going to bring you know a lot of efficiency as well. But you know, the, from my perspective, there, there are two big challenges with cellular connectivity as a primary mode of, of connectivity. One, it's fairly new, right? Because mm -hmm. in, pre, in previous times, cellular was uh, redundancy, was backup, right? Mm -hmm. So it's new for enterprises, the, the notion of, you know, now you've got, you know, licensed spectrum. I mean, there is some unlicensed in cellular, but there's a lot of licensed spectrum, so that's challenging. I think number two with millimeter wave, it's the propagation, right? There's a huge challenge of propagation. The, the throughput and the latency is incredible. But the distance that it travels is, is much shorter. Yes. So I'm wondering, Ted, so um, what is Druid doing to sort of help solve that, that propagation challenge for enterprises? Can you point to anything specifically? Yeah, I can certainly point to, uh, to some customer use cases and some of the testing we've been doing. Sure. Uh, Druid delivering the, the 5G standalone core for us. I guess it's about performance, ease of manageability. We do rely uh, rely on on microamp and radio vendors to give us the distance let's say or right. help them test the distance but now that you've raised it on the one side i've i've seen major advantages let's say in hospitals or healthcare where they love the short range would you believe sure. and they're like we're going to put one of these in each room and it's not even going to go next door and they, they actually love that idea would yeah. you believe and they love sure. the increased throughput over wi-fi and wi-fi will still be there but this will be a dedicated network for the staff sure. right this is just all about the, the workers in the hospital environment yeah. but then outside we've been looking at some fixed wireless access projects here would, would you believe which really require distance sure. and we've been looking at at uh, you know more kilometers rather than hundreds of meters mm -hmm. with with the millimeter wave product and uh, you know the guys have been helping us test that and see how far we can get for you know more remote areas let's say in Ireland or even island networks right. to deliver that kind of throughput and worst case scenario you can always go point to point and then break out something locally you know in a let's say in a more urban area you know you yeah, can go yeah. more dense in, in that in that area sure. I mean in our experience we've been offshore you know um, and oil rigs and stuff like that we've been deployed in all of those environments over many years right. so if you need to go 20 kilometers that's that's how they achieve that ultimately and yeah. worst case scenario they'll they'll do satellite like when we're deployed on on vessels and ships right and then you can create that densification where you need it let's say on the ship or wherever it is Yep. That's, that's where the densification can happen then with, with the shorter yep. range and the higher throughput for whatever use case. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Ireland's a great you know, test bed because of look at the topology, yes. the ocean, oh, yeah. yes. um, the islands mm -hmm. that you mentioned yes. as well. So, I mean, it's a great sort of 
it's mountainous Sandbox, and it's flat. Mountainous and yeah. Flat, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm sure there's been a lot. You've, you've learned a lot just being based. We have, there. we have, and we're really excited about next year because we've got a lot of use cases maybe for for blue light now for industry yeah. for healthcare right. that that all are very interested in millimeter wave. Would you like to add something? Yeah, with yeah. in terms of the propagation with Druid, we've tested some unique things that. Millimeter waves in fixed wireless access, you can really achieve five kilometers, eight kilometers uh, range in the fixed yeah. wireless access. Right. And we tested the two modes, fixed wireless access and the mobility. Right. It means that you can easily transmit the data with the fixed wireless access for eight kilometers and then deploy the mobility when you have 300, 400 meters. Mm -hmm. And then you omit, you solve the challenges on the propagation. And with this, Testbed, we tested sure. here, you can deliver the connectivity everywhere. Yeah. Like fix wireless access to the island, then you change for the mobile networks yeah. and you cover. Yeah. It's the matter on how you deploy and that you Druid Core also allows us to, 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 to deploy and to work simultaneously fix wireless and uh, mobility mode. So sure. it was unique and really cool for the customers, especially for the countries, for not even Ireland, but also we have Asia, like Philippines, Indonesia, yes. there is a lot of islands. Yes. You, you deliver yeah, right. to the island fixed wireless access and then changing with the mobility, with the same core, with the same infrastructure. Right. Exactly. So, yeah. so, it's so we're, we're changing perceptions here, I think, that we sure. can, you know, people don't think kilometers with millimeter wave. Right. You know, so we are, we're going to change perceptions, I think, going into next yep. year about, about the distances you can achieve with products like, uh, like MicroAmp. Yeah, no, and I think there's been a lot of focus on just, you know, improving the propagation characteristics of, mm -hmm. of millimeter wave. Mm -hmm. I mean, certainly, you know, companies like uh, Qualcomm, from a device perspective, have, have been focused on that. I mean, one of the biggest challenges has been power, yeah. right? It's very yeah. power hungry, right? And, yes. And most of the early applications, you know, at least what I see in the U.S. and in parts of Europe, have been you know venues and stadiums where you get a dense you know density of people, mm -hmm. you know, at at one particular moment of time or like um, F1. Mm -hmm. You know, we have the Circuit of the Americas yeah. in Austin, and I was a critic of, of that facility, but they have invested in a partnership to. To improve, you know, the uh, the density of, uh, of the cellular connectivity there, but yeah. but no, it's it, you know it's exciting times, and uh, it sounds like you know there's some really great things that are going on between Microamp and and Druid and Apotech. But with that, just you know, some final thoughts, Charlie, as we close the conversation. Honestly, I think that Dalit really hit the nail on the head when he talked about um, millimeter wave being, you know the right technology for deploying these video type applications. I mean, he mentioned, you know, surveillance and, and AR and stuff. Right. Because, you know, by their very nature, those applications, that's terabits of traffic. Yeah, right? inspection, right? Also yeah, inspection. Ex okay. exactly. And so, you know, when you're looking at that kind of really, those kind of really high bandwidth use cases, you know, as David mentioned, um, you know, he wants to deploy a network in a box. Right. He doesn't want to deploy a network in a cabinet. Yeah. And so that's where we're really pleased to see him, you know, benefiting from our, you know, smart mic technology right. because we allow him to reduce that overall footprint and power consumption and, and capex yeah. and opex, like you mentioned. Awesome. So no, it's just this is the this is exactly the kind of use case, you know, where we've been we've been finding success yeah. for our offload technology. Awesome. Ty, any, any final thoughts? Absolutely, network in a box. I would totally agree that portability. We saw it in twenty twenty when we had five G standalone, and now with millimeter wave. You know that portability, the ease of, of demonstration, you know internationally and in any location is really important. Yeah. And then I'd add um, the energy efficiency right. piece. Um, we've done a lot of business for oil and gas, but you know wind farms, green energy, and being able right. to say to enterprise mm -hmm. that this solution is bringing energy efficiencies oh. is really, as you say, it's, it's very it's very power hungry, potentially power hungry solutions. You yeah. know? So that's a really important uh, topic to be covering and delivering on as well. Oh yeah, sustainability is huge. I mean, certainly in Europe, I mean, I don't want to characterize it as a power or energy crisis, but there are some challenges oh, given yeah. the current geopolitical environment. Yeah. Uh, but we equally, you know, in the United States and other parts of the world, there's a focus on sustainability and reducing mm -hmm. your power footprint. So yeah. I think that's tremendous. You know, Dalit, any, any final thoughts and we'll close it up? Yeah, so the, I think that uh, AI also helps us in this because we had to mention AI, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, of course, of course. Course. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, the truth is that the core use case with network in the box and with Druid right. we may have is the live video analytics analyzed by the AI. Mm -hmm. yes. And the industry yeah. needs this for 
creating models for predictive maintenance, yeah. sure. for Digital predicting twin. the futures. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and this yeah. is really use case that can be deployed nowadays and there is the real need from the industry, mm -hmm. but they have a problem with moving high resolution infrared or nine vision cameras, especially when you have a high density of the cameras. Right. Mm -hmm. And we are solving these problems yeah. and answering the real challenges that industry has nowadays, not even that, that we'll have in five days, but right. nowadays. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is very important thing yeah, yeah, and very yeah. important yeah. message to the market that the industry meets the requirements that sure. enterprises wants. And I'm looking for more e extraordinary uh, use cases uh, in the future. Well, you know, the developers are the ones that are going to come up with that, right? And, and, and certainly time has proven that, like with, with ride sharing and, and 4G and, you know, the, the amalgamation of GPS technology as well. But, hey, guys, it's been a great conversation. I'm super mm -hmm. excited about the demo day yeah. and want to thank you for taking the time. Thanks, Will. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.